I was teaching Surah Yusuf in the UK. I ended the course talking about how Surah Yusuf teaches us sociology, teaches us sociology, and how important harmony is in the home, and how detriment the lack of harmony is to our children. In Surah Yusuf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that Yusuf alayhi salam saw a dream. And in this dream, he saw the sun, he saw the moon and 11 stars prostrating to him. And according to the minority view of the ulama of tafsir, and that's the view we will use for the purposes of our similitude and analogy here, the minority of the ulama said, that the sun in the dream represented the father and the, the moon in the dream represented the mother and the stars in the dream represented the children. This is what they said. Now, the ulama before us given their wisdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted them taught us an amazing lesson and they said that if we compare the son to the father what we see is that there are great similarities. When the sun is out, people earn. Money is created and is increased because when the sun is out, that is normally our working hours. And this is the case when the father is in the home. When the father is at home, he is the breadwinner. He's the breadwinner, right? And he earns. And then they say when the sun is out, you don't see the stars. The stars are there, but they're not seen. And normally in the day when you see the father, do you see him with the children? You don't see him with the children. The children are with the mother, not with the father. And when the sun is out, we feel a sense of security. And isn't that the case when the father is at home? When the father is at home, the home feels a greater sense of security. The mother and the children feel even more secure when the father comes home. Is this not correct? Yes. So this is the similitude and analogy between the son and the father. And when we look at the mother and in the dream of Yusuf alayhi salam, based on the minority view of the ulama of tafsir, when they said that the moon represented the mother, if we analyze the moon and the mother, we see that the moon is serene. It's beautiful to look at. It's peaceful and it gives luminous light. And if we look at the, at the home structure, we find these qualities present in the mother. The mother is serene. The mother is beautiful to look at. The mother creates a sense of peace in the home. Just like the moon creates for us at night. When the moon is out, we find the stars twinkling. And when you see the mother for most of the day and the night, you find her with the children and the children are happy and running around her. They twinkling as well. When you look at the moon, you see that it takes its light from the sun. And the brighter the sun, the more luminous the moon. And the same is the case in the home. The more effective the father, the more effective his role in the home, the more effective the role of the mother becomes as well. It's a great analogy. And then they say that when the sun tries to be the moon and the moon tries to be the sun, something happens. What happens? We have an eclipse. We have an eclipse. And when an eclipse happens, the role of the sun is inferior and the role of the moon is inferior and the stars are nowhere to be seen. And when we look at the home as well, when there's no synergy between the sun of that home and the moon of that home, there's no harmony between the mother and father, the husband and wife of a particular home, we also have an eclipse. Except that that eclipse is known as a social eclipse. A social eclipse. And when a social eclipse happens, the role of the mother is rarely felt. And the role of the father is rarely felt. And who suffers the most? The children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us.